A tiny dent in the tarmac, one of the landing sites of the most famous space rock in Britain that arrived in spectacular style. This is the largest piece of the meteorite currently on display at the Natural History Museum. All the bits together only weigh 548 grams and date back 4.6 billion years. And since the piece crashed into the driveway of the Wilcock family in Winchcombe, they've been protecting the little dent due to its scientific importance. I feel a bit nostalgic about it now. You know, I looked at it last night and thought, oh, that won't be there tomorrow. And it, it did feel a bit strange. We got used to it being there and all the interest that there is in it. But in one sense, we'll be pleased that it goes because we won't, we won't have to protect that bit of drive and park the car over it there. And in another way, we, we will miss it. Well, today it was time for the tarmac with the hole in it to be cut away. Piece by piece and slowly very slowly. Glad it's over. Most important part's over for us anyway. Just checking we haven't done any damage when we lift the frame off and we can all breathe. I'm pleased to report that all went well because the tarmac is destined for the Natural History Museum where it'll be analysed and put on public display. We can work out roughly what the size of that is and how deep it goes and that will tell us a little bit about the type of rock um, that hit the driveway and, and, and how it came down uh, it will tell us how we uh, found that really unusual splat and that pile of, of really dark stones and materials. It's incredible to think that that came from outer space, landed on our driveway, the rock is in the, the museum and now people will be able to see a square of our drive in the museum. Uh, it, it's been quite a year. <laughs> and for Hannah's mum Catherine, who's a former teacher, the meteorite has been a gift literally from the heavens because it'll be used to teach the scientists of the future. We want to inspire children to learn, to study well, to work well, to become scientists and to change the world, I suppose, because that's what science can do. The little bit of space rock has been on an incredible journey to Gloucestershire and now even the damage it caused will further scientific understanding. The Wilcock family may miss it, but the whole will be replaced with something to remember it by. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, Winchcombe.